Okay, everyone, the fun and games continue on our Halloween special on the PlayStation with Jeopardy 2nd Edition. A few seconds ago, we played the 1st edition of Jeopardy, and we won $23,200. What will the 2nd edition have in store? We're going to find out in just a minute. Congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. Let's do that. See if you like these first round categories. Hopefully, I do. Monosyllables, Geo, Spears, and Southern Food. And our last category is Entertainment. All right. Player one, your turn. And 100. You bet your sweet bippy we love their laugh in. Who are Rowan and Martin? Player one. Yes, indeed. Okay, we'll go with the uh, and for 200. It's often been said of these movie dancers that she did everything he did, but backwards and in high heels. Who are Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers? Player one. Definitely. And for 300. Nancy Drew could tell you these are the Hardy Boys' first names. Player two. Frank and Joe. Well done, yes. Your choice, player two. Let's try Spears for 100. This Olympic sport could also be called spear throwing. What is the javelin throw? Player one. Or just javelin. That's it. Good. Spears for 200. Player one. The spear was an emblem of Ares, the Greek god of this. Player two. Fighting. You're correct. It's your turn, player two. Entertainment for 100, Alex. LeVar Burton was a drama student when the role of Kunta Kinte in this miniseries made him a star overnight. 
layer three. Roots. I was thinking that. Exactly. If you would, player three. Southern food for 100. Trim the green skin and pink flesh from this melon's rind before pickling it. What is watermelon? Player one. Yes. Uh, Southern food for 200. Your choice, player one. In 1942, Neil Fletcher introduced this battered frankfurter at the Texas State Fair. What is a corn dog? Player one. Definitely. Green food coloring often brightens the filling of this pie named for a Florida fruit. What is key lime pie? Layer one. Exactly. The Brunswick style of this dish can be made with squirrel meat. What is stew? Layer one. Definitely. This type of salad can be made by adding hot red-eye gravy or pork drippings to the greens. Layer two. Wilted salad? That's it. Oh. Layer two, you choose. Monosyllables for 100. It's the contraction for am not, and it is in the dictionary. What is ain't? Layer one. Definitely. Model souls 200. Layer one. Under calmer circumstances, this interjection is a word for the male human being. What is man? Layer one. You're correct. This expression of gratitude also refers to one's grateful feelings. Layer two. THX, thanks. Well done, yes. Layer two. Geo for 100. Ain't no mountain high enough in the US to top this Alaskan mount seen here. What is Mount McKinley? Layer one. Yes, indeed. Layer one, your turn. When Burma became Myanmar in 1989, this capital city became Yangon. What is Rangoon? Layer one. That's it. It's the latitude in degrees of any point on the equator. What is zero? Layer one. Right you are. To Gala Falls in this African country's KwaZulu Natal province, is the world's second highest waterfall. What is South Africa? Layer one. Exactly. Zane Gray's ancestor, Betty Zane, helped save Fort Henry, now the site of this state's city of Wheeling. What is West Virginia? Layer one. Yes, indeed. Clint, Lee, and Eli 
were the three in the title of this 1966 West. Who are the good, the bad, and the ugly? Player one. That's it. This pair was electrocuted August 23rd, 1927. Player two. Julius and Ethel Rosenberg? Nice try, but that is incorrect. That happened in the 50s. Player three. Sucko and Benzetti, yeah. You're correct. Player three, it's your turn. Entertainment for 200. The play about this president who resigned opened and closed a few weeks before the Watergate break-in. Who is Richard Nixon? Player one. Yes. Player one, what'll it be? In this 1984 film, city boy Kevin Bacon moved to a small town that had outlawed dancing. Player one? Right you are. A staff photographer for Look Magazine, he went on to direct such films as 2001 and Dr. Strangelove. Player one. You're correct. This title TV family lived in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Jefferson County, Virginia. Player one. Exactly. This slang noun for a painful injury comes from what you shout when you get hurt. Player one. You got it. An expression of disdain or a bear of very little brain. Player one. Right you are. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your way. I don't feel too confident with this category. A piece of equipment you may use in this underwater sport is the Hawaiian sling. Player one. Oh, no, sorry. Spear fishing. Oh, okay. I didn't wager too much, so that's okay. The famous formation of Greek foot soldiers who carried spears up to 20 feet long. Player three. The phalanx. That's right. Here's the final answer on this board. The British used these cavalry troops in the Sikh and Afghan wars and to crush the Sepoy rebellion. Player two. That's it. That's the end of the Jeopardy round. Let's take a look at the scores. You're in first place all alone, player one. Player two, you're not too far off the lead. You're in last place, player three, but you get to start things off in double jeopardy. Let's move on to double jeopardy. There are two daily doubles awaiting you on this board. Let's get started.
Let's see if you like these categories in the double jeopardy round. 15th, classic Disney film. Ooh. Mind your P's and Q's. Getting scientific. Poets rhyme time. And completing the board, our category is Name the Year. If you would, player three. Mind your P's and Q's for 200. John Elway, our change from a dollar for a 75 cent item. What is quarterback? Player one? Yes. Player one? It's the branch of medicine concerned with kids. What is pediatrics? Player one. You got it. It's a college campus area surrounded on four sides by buildings. Player three. Exactly. Okay, player three. Poets rhyme time. For 200, Alex. Johnson's Quills. Player one. Definitely. Player one, your turn. Jeffrey's cup holders. Player one. You got it. Robert's expenses. Player one. You're correct. Hughes sneakers. Player three. Yes. Player three, what will it be? Classic Disney films. Ooh, goody. For 200? Yeah, yeah, I like this one. This film about a flying elephant inspired a ride at Disneyland. What is Dumbo? Player one. You're correct. Classic Disney films for 400. Player one. Chim Chim Cheri. This film, featuring chimney sweeps, swept up 13 Oscar nominations. What is Mary Poppins? Player one. That's right. This 1961 film was the first to feature a magical substance called flubber. What is the absent-minded professor? Player one. That's it. Much of the music for this 1959 film, including the song Once Upon a Dream, was adapted from an 1890 ballet. What is Sleeping Beauty? Player one. Right you are. Among the babes in Babes in Toyland are Anne Gillian as Bo Peep and this Mouseketeer as Mary Contrary. Who is Annette Funicello? Player one. Yes.
These ancient people are believed to have arrived in Scotland around 1000 BC. Layer two. Exactly. It's your turn, player two. Let's try 15th for 200, please. Ratified in 1870, it bars denying voting rights based on race, color, or previous condition of servitude. What's the 15th Amendment? Player one. That's it. Player one, your turn. Ptolemy the 15th of Egypt co-ruled with this queen, his mother. Who's Cleopatra? Player one. Yes. It begins, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? What is Psalms 15? Player one? No, I'm sorry. Player two? Psalm 15. Definitely. Your choice, player two. Name the year for 200, Alex. Definitely a giant leap taken this year when the man seen here walked on the moon. Player one. You got it. Player one, what'll it be? It was the beginning of a new age in this year when Nagasaki was nuked. Player one? Definitely. The second time was a charm in this year when Reagan was re-elected president. Player one. Right you are. Nadja Komanich first won Olympic gold and our hearts in this year. Player three. Exactly. Player three, it's your turn. Let's go for getting scientific. For 200, please. The name of this ology comes from two Greek words meaning earth discussion. Player three. You're correct. Getting scientific. For 400, please, Alex. Stephen Chu won a Nobel Prize for slowing atoms with these light beams. Player one. That's right. Player one, your turn. Type of bladder removed in a cholecystectomy. Player one. Yes, indeed. Mills for this product process the raw cane into molasses. Player one. Right you are. The juice of this bog fruit berry seen here is sometimes used to treat urinary tract infections. Player one. You're correct. Answer. The 
the Daily Double. Ugh. Player one, please make your wager. Okay, um... A veteran of the War of 1812, this James was the 15th President of the United States. Player one. Oh, regrettably, no. Answer, the Daily Double. Player one, please make your wager. The 15th Pope, with this gospel writer's name, reigned from 985 to 996. Player one. Ooh, no, sorry. Soft, wet, miry land, like Vietnam, or a predicament like Vietnam in the 1970s. Player three. Yes. Okay, player three. Let's go for Poet's Rhyme Time for 1,000. Edmund's Incense Burners. Player three. You're correct. And the final answer of the round. It's the year the second millennium began. Player one. Yes. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores. Player one, you've got the lead going into final jeopardy. You're still in the thick of it, player three. You're still in contention, player two. All right, now it's time for Final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. The category in Final Jeopardy is U.S. Rivers. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. Player two? Player three. The largest tributary of the Hudson, its name also refers to a hairstyle. Player one. Thirteen grand or twelve thousand two hundred. All right, let's see how everyone did. Player two, your question. That's it. Right, well done. Up, and yeah. your wager was. I'm gonna end up with thirteen thousand dollars this game. Player three, your question. Sorry. That's wrong. How much did it cost you? I'm going to see you all for that next segment right after this break. Player one, your question? That's right. And your wager was? And that's all for the Tournament of Champions game. Let's see how everyone did. Our big winner, player one. See you again on our next game of Jeopardy. Bye, everybody.